flood my apartment. Mrs. Sandwall washes that thing in the kitchen sink. Well, the pipes were filled with hair, they burst and flooded your apartment. Your floor has to be replaced. Don't cats just wash themselves? Not this one. She's allergic to her own fur. Very sad. And yet I'm unmoved. Can you get somebody out here to fix this tonight? I already called the floor guy. They do not work past dusk. Okay. What are we talking about? Two, three hours? Sure, more or less. Let's call it four days. Days? Johnny, you've got extensive damage in here. No floors, walls, ceiling. It's lucky there was no loss of life. Hey, Manny, did you know there's water in the stair... Oh, my God, what happened? I had a little flood here, Mike. <sighs> Is he all right? Oh, Jonathan? He's fine. He takes everything in stride. I am screwed! <laughs> what am I gonna do? I mean, what am I gonna do? My, my floors are, are ruined. My furniture is everywhere. I'm making big gestures. Jonathan, right? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna call my floor guy. I already got a floor guy. Yeah, mine's better. Here, tell him Mike Painter referred you. Thanks. Is there anything I can do for you right now? We'll have to fax these pages to my agent by 6 p.m. We have a fax machine upstairs. Anything else? I have to pee. You're in luck. We've got a special room set aside for just that. Come on up. We'll take care of everything. What, why are you doing all this for me? What are neighbors for? Come on. Oh, this is nice. Huh? Really nice. I can't believe this apartment is even in my building. Great floor. Yeah, that's my floor guy. Hey, Jeff, I'm back. Did you get the pizza? Yeah, I got it. Now, let me have your uh, fax. Is the number on it? Thanks. It's right on top. Hi. Uh, Jeff, you know Jonathan. Oh, sure, sure. Our hay neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hey. hey. <laughs> How you doing? Jeff Heaton. <laughs> Poor Jonathan got flooded out of his apartment. Sandwald's cat. How did you know that? They used to live upstairs, the bastards. <laughs> Look, uh, we were just going to watch the game, have some pizza. You want some? Uh, no, look, I, I don't want to impose. Oh, come on. It's Monday Night Football. Sit down. I'll grab you a beer. Just started. No score. Are you a, uh, a Giants or a Jets fan? Bears. I went to law school in Chicago. Love the Bears. Of course, they suck, but that goes without saying. <laughs> you? I'm a 49ers fan. My uncle was their trainer for about 15 minutes when I was a kid, so mm -hmm. I got to meet Joe Montana once. Oh, come on. You met Montana? Boy, that must have been a thrill. Oh, gee, sure was. He was the greatest. Oh, no question. Greatest all-around quarterback ever. Great instinct, great vision, and an ass to die for. <laughs> You slept in the homosexual apartment. <laughs> yes, Sammy, and we ate homosexual pizza and we watched homosexual football. <laughs> They're great guys. Mike is an actor. He's in Leonard Nimoy's Hamlet production. These are the same guys that invited you to the gay games in the elevator a couple years ago, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, same guys. They thought you were gay, didn't they? I don't know, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell them that you weren't gay last night? Uh, no, no, it, it didn't come up. I mean, who cares? What, what for? Were you wearing that belt? <laughs> Yes, they think you're gay. Okay. <laughs> Truth is, you could be gay. Anybody could be gay. No, Alexander Haig could not be gay. Alexander Haig could be gay. I'm picturing Alexander Haig naked with another man right now. I gotta tell you, he seems pretty gay. <laughs> so, what time are you going to Janine's for dinner tonight? I'm not going. What? But Matt's making that really awful chicken, and they wanted to introduce us to that really neat paleontologist they know. And hey, we know enough really neat paleontologists. <laughs> but Janine's gonna show him that dinosaur bone, you know, the one she found in the park? You love that dinosaur crap. <laughs> gotta pass. Trudy got a big hot tub we're gonna try out tonight. What are you talking about? She got a 24-hour free trial on a big old hot tub. <laughs> Where are you gonna put a hot tub? It's right there in the living room. You should see it. It's huge. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Some dealer. It's just for a day, then we give it back. It's great. I'm telling you, Trudy finds this kind of stuff all the time. Get married, Johnny, and the weird stuff you'll do to amuse yourself, ooh, it's amazing. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, behold, fancy men. Oh, man. <laughs> Boy, somebody's got a couple of hot dates tonight. Where are we going? Some ridiculous charity dinner. I'll go down and hail you a cab. Thanks, Thanks. Manny. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. 
I don't even remember who's being honored tonight. Alexander Haig. <laughs> Jonathan, you remember that ridiculous Napoleonic production of Hamlet I told you I was doing? It's not ridiculous and you're fantastic yeah, in it. Yeah, whatever. We're opening tomorrow night and I got a couple of extra tickets if you're not doing anything. Can I come, really? I'll leave two tickets for you at the box office. It'll be good for a laugh anyway. Thanks. It's brilliant. I've seen rehearsals. Enough. Jonathan, here's a spare set of keys for you. Now, if you get hungry, there's cold cuts in the fridge, there's a loaf of bread in the drawer, you can make a nice sandwich. Would you quit mothering the boy? <laughs> Downstairs waiting. Thanks, Manny. So long. Bye. Bye. Uh, another night on the town. <laughs> Boy, I sure would like to have their lifestyle. <laughs> I still can't figure out why they never found the right girls and settled down. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Manny. It's queer. Huh. I'm sure Janine's bone isn't from a dinosaur. Uh, no. Sorry, that was uh, definitely a cat bone. <laughs> but it is pretty old, uh, 20, 25 years maybe. So it's not from the Pleistocene era? <laughs> no, no, the uh, disco era. <laughs> Where did you find that? Right next to the merry-go-round. You know, I can't go on those things. I get dizzy very easily. Well, That's why I got this scar right here. When I was eight, I spun myself around about 30 times, got dizzy, fell on a sprinkler, and then threw up. <laughs> so, Ross, how about you? Uh, oh. Any good scars? Well, yes, but mine are emotional, so you can't actually see them. <laughs> no, wait, wait. No, I do have a scar. It's on my back. I was, uh, hmm, I was attacked by the weirdest kid in school. Stabbed? Mm-mm, bitten. That was third grade. Andy Grenier was his name. Whatever happened to Andy? Andy Grenier? I will tell you what happened to Andy Grenier. He moved to the east side and he bit me. <laughs> nuh uh <laughs> yah He bit me right on the shoulder. What, what was with that guy? I, I think that was just his way of saying, I'm biting you now. That's the kind of stuff you should be writing about, Johnny. Not that your usual stuff isn't great. Last year, he wrote a thing in Esquire, The Jock's Guide to Shakespeare. Wait a minute. You, you wrote that? I read that at the dentist. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, I was blotto on nitrous oxide at the time, but... <laughs> no, no, but I took it home, read it again at breakfast, and I have to say, just as good on cornflakes. <laughs> so, Johnny, I really, really did like that article. I'm not kidding. The Jock's Guide to Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, have you heard about this Hamlet they're doing down at the Cherry Lane? Well, oh, the one with Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be great. A buddy of mine audition. Oh, yeah? Did he get in? Joey? Yeah, he still hasn't heard, but since it opens tomorrow, he's not holding up too much hope. <laughs> Do you want to go see it? Uh, my neighbor's playing Polonia, so I was going to go, and uh, I have this extra ticket. Well. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy's Hamlet. Mm -hmm. Well, that... Uh... Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay. Great. That's really nice of you to ask. Thanks. <laughs> hey, cool belt, by the way. Salami. Oh, sorry, I thought you said beef tongue. <laughs> How'd you get beef tongue out of salami? <laughs> they don't even share a vowel. <laughs> probably watching Sebastian. He started doing the cutest thing with his mouth. He sort of goes, Ey. And the salami becomes beef tongue. <laughs> I want to hear more about that hot tub. Hot liquid ecstasy. Boy, that sounds great. Haven't you guys ever been in a hot tub before? Sure, but not right here in Manhattan, in my own apartment, in my own living room. I really hate to see it go. <laughs> can you get one for us? You know, a free trial? I can try. So, how was dinner? Did the dinosaur man come over? Ross, yeah. What a sweet guy. Uh, let me ask you something. Is there any chance that Ross is, uh, in the choir? <laughs> what choir? Like in church? No, 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 no. Is he, uh, you know, a friend of Dorothy's? <laughs> Dorothy, your cousin from Terrytown? She's not in the choir. Our hep friend, Jonathan, is inquiring whether or not this Ross person is gay. No, he's not gay. What would make you think he's gay? Oh, I don't know. I just think he, uh, 
came on to me a bit in your kitchen last night. There's no way Ross could be gay. Hey, anybody could be gay. <laughs> It doesn't make a difference, really. I was just wondering, because uh, we made plans tonight. We're going to a play together. So? So, I wonder if when I said, hey, let's go to the theater, he thought I meant, hey, I want to make love to you and bake muffins. <laughs> no, he's not gay, and I think it's great you're getting together. Men never seem to make friends with other men outside of work after college. <laughs> Unless they're gay which this Ross fellow clearly is. <laughs> you, you haven't even met the man. I don't need to. Ross is a homosexual. <laughs> or as my grandmother would pronounce it, homoxual. <laughs> he came on here last night because he thinks you're gay. You were wearing that belt again, weren't you? <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. You're, uh, you're not wearing a blazer? Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, you look great. Come on in. <laughs> I'm just uh, brushing my teeth. Tempty, obviously. All right. You know, the, uh, the theater's only a couple blocks away. We have plenty of time. Okay. <laughs> hey, that, uh, that cabinet there is a fridge. Uh, help yourself. The drink's inside if you're thirsty. Yeah, all right. I feel like grabbing a tall boy. <laughs> beer? Oh, a beer. Yes, thanks. That'd, that'd be great. So, uh, you must uh, really know your Shakespeare, huh? Well, sort of. I hope this is good. There's nothing worse than bad Shakespeare. Uh. Especially if the guys look bad in their tights, right? <laughs> right. Of course, if the guys look too good in their tights, you got a problem there, too. Yeah, yeah big problem. <laughs> drinking that beer, you looked exactly like my son with his bottle. You have a kid? Oh. That's terrific. Wait, here. Yeah, this is my, uh, my son, Ben. Oh. Yeah, he's with his mother right now and his, um, Uncle Susan. <laughs> Ben's mother's a lesbian, so. <clears throat> well, I guess there are a lot of lesbian mothers hmm. and, and gay fathers. Uh, oh, you have a kid? No, no, I just haven't found the right person yet. Uh, well, you know what? That that really is the only thing that matters. Hey. <laughs> you were great. Ah, thanks. He was great. Brilliant. Oh, stop. And the show? It, it, it was great. Good. I loved it. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and Mike and Jeff, this is uh, my friend Ross. Hi, Ross. Well, I didn't know there was a Ross. <laughs> Oh, my God, was that Leonard Nemo? <laughs> yes, indeed. You want to meet him? Come on. I'll introduce you. Okay. Come he on. loves Jeff. Hey, come on, come on. Let's go meet Nemo. Oh, no, thanks. You go come ahead. On. All right. Yeah. So, have you known Johnny Long? Uh, actually, no. Uh, we, uh, we just met at a friend's house last night. But we do have one thing in common. We were both bitten by the same guy. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> I'm not convinced that this whole uh, Napoleonic Navy bit works, but uh, by this point, I have lost all perspective. <laughs> what did you really think? Is the show even watchable? Yes. And Leonard Nimoy, very convincing Hamlet. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> I have to say the first three acts, I was sort of waiting for him to give Claudius the uh, Vulcan death grip, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny liked it? Yeah, I, I think he did. Good. We've gotten very attached to that Johnny in the last 48 hours. So don't you go and break his heart. Break his heart? What are you, uh, uh, whoa. <laughs> I like you very much. I, I like you too. I know. Uh, you should know that nothing's gonna happen here. Hmm? Uh, between us. Yeah. 
romantically. Nothing's nothing's gonna happen because you know I'm not uh, I'm not gay. <laughs> what you you think that I'm gay? <laughs> it's fine. It's no big deal for me. You know? <laughs> not gay. I am very much not gay. <laughs> I mean I'm I'm not gay. <laughs> Look, if you're gay, it's not a thing. I know it's not a thing. I'm not. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Come on in. Hey. hey. What the hell is this? It's a big old hot tub. Isn't it fantastic? Trudy got them the 24-hour free trial. Come on in, John. Water's fine. <laughs> Hamlet. Oh, it was great. So, is he gay? Hamlet? <laughs> Ross. Oh, Ross. No, no, he's not gay. You sure? Definitely not gay. Oh, come on in, Johnny. I don't feel like it. What's the matter? Just a little tense. Oh, well, then you'll want to steer clear of the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, leave him alone. What's the problem, Johnny? My neighbors, Mike and Jeff, they still think I'm gay. And now they think I'm going out with Ross. But he's not gay. Well, they don't know that. I feel really bad. They've been so nice to me, and I like them very much. I mean, they welcomed me into their home, and, and they invited me to this show, and, and they even introduced me to Leonard Nimoy. Nimoy? Woo! <laughs> it didn't really matter what they thought, and we were just, hey, neighbors. Hey, neighbors? You know, hey. hey. <laughs> but now, I've got an actual friendship with them. I, I feel like I'm lying to them. Then you have to tell them you're not gay. Yeah, Johnny. It's about time you came out of the closet. <laughs> Good luck! Swim, Willie, swim on home to your mother. <laughs> sit, sit. What a piece of crap. <laughs> Wake up. Go, Flipper. It's over, Jeff. Wonderful. A film that had to be made. Well, you missed Free Willy, but uh, Turner and Hooch is still to come. Uh, Did you go to the cash party tonight? It was a bust. Uh, Horatio took a swing at Guildenstern, or was it Rosencrantz? <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine, fine. You sure? Is it, Ross? Don't be so nosy. See, that's just it. There is no Ross. Well, well yes, there, there is a Ross. There's just no me and Ross. I don't want to make a big deal about this because it's not, it's not a big deal. And this is not a judgment here. I just, I just want you guys to know that I'm straight I'm not following you <laughs> I'm heterosexual I like women Wow when did this happen <laughs> Happen it, it didn't just happen You mean you were never gay No it was a misunderstanding God I hope I didn't mislead you guys you've been so nice to me and I feel just terrible Excuse me I knew this would happen. He's really upset, isn't he? Mike, why would he be upset? Because, because I just told him I was straight, that's why. No, he had some popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> popcorn? Yeah. So, so he's okay with this? Sure. And you're okay with this? Johnny, some of my best friends are straight. My parents are straight. <laughs> well, my mom, anyway. <laughs> Mike, I thought you'd be upset. You're not upset. That you're straight? I don't think so. <laughs> now, if Jeff told me he was straight, then you'd see some tears. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Everything's out. I feel good. Bring on Turner and Hoot. <laughs> Could I, uh, just ask you one thing? Yeah. Where did you get that cool belt? <laughs> hey, welcome home, kid. Well, if you need me, you know where to find me. 
At the door? No, up in 5C, taking a nap. The chaplain's just got a brand new sofa. Beautiful. Purple. <laughs> Where'd you get that sweater? What? If I had a sweater like that, my tennis game would come up a level. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. The, some sports store, the Gap, I don't really remember. That's a real sports sweater. I've never had that. I think it'd look good in a sweater like that, don't you? Got the build for it. <laughs> well, good game, fellas. I gotta get back to work. Can't stay away too long when you tell the boss you're uh, returning some shoes. Uh, <laughs> see you, Sammy. Nice to meet you, Sam. You too. Oh. Here's your racket, Johnny. Sorry, I busted it. <laughs> Great sweater. Ross, man. Uh, yeah. So is he. <laughs> Sammy? Yeah. Oh, yes. Big time. <laughs>